My name is Jeroen van Oosten and I'm director for decommissioning. Here at Decom 2020 was an interesting year because it was a very full year. Uh, this is a record-breaking year for us. Obviously our company has a long history with putting platforms in the ocean and it now comes to the end of the life cycle for a lot of those platforms. So we also have an obligation to take them out. Uh, not only is it business for us, but it's also, I think, part of our responsibility to do so. We're doing that in two places. We were doing that in, uh, in Canada and several projects around the North Sea, about 50-50 split of the tonnage removed. And uh, obviously with COVID, uh, that, was, uh, that was quite difficult. Yeah. I'm Andries Mostenbroek. Project Director for the Business Unit DECOM of Herma. 2020 has been an exciting year. Uh, we worked across uh, six DECOM projects uh, this year and we utilized uh, our main assets uh, 394 days. Beginning of March we started sailing to Canada. We worked on uh, Sable Island, uh, which was a large project, seven platforms we removed there. And then COVID was already in the world, but it wasn't such a big thing yet. And then the talk started about quarantines and, and those type of things. My name is uh, Jaime Lopez, and I want to tell you something about the Sable project. Uh, the project comprises of the removal of uh, seven platforms. Uh, that means uh, seven top sides, uh, seven jackets, uh, five flares, two bridges and 22 conductors with a total weight of approximately 46,000 uh, tons. Uh, in there we introduced the two week uh, quarantine period, uh, which um, of course meant that uh, the rotations were uh, much longer of our crew and also the time at home was uh, much less. All in all we managed to start in May and uh, ended uh, past 11th of November uh, with the release of the last transport uh, uh, going back to, to Europe. What strikes me the most is the commitment and dedication of our people which uh, kept the head in the game and the focus and uh, managed to finish this project uh, very strong. I want to thank you all for your dedication and a greatly uh, done job. I'm uh, Simon Skutlarik, I'm a project manager for the uh, ECOFISC uh, cessation uh, project, which involves the uh, uh, removal and disposal of uh, four platforms uh, in the central ECOFISC area, where we uh, removed this year the ECOFISC Alpha uh, top site in uh, uh, early April. Uh, for that, we removed uh, in total some uh, 3,600 metric tons started uh, this year with the Sleipnir in, in the North Sea. We had to start off there in the uh, very midst of the uh, first wave of uh, Corona COVID-19. Even though there was Corona going on, we could still do the work uh, efficiently and, and safely. So the, the, the subsea excavator is in development that, we've, that we started out last year. That basically digging away soil around a jacket is quite difficult. So he, um, he decided to, uh, to, to design a pump, uh, basically with a dredging head on the front, and it, uh, it sucks the soil out of the back. Uh, with that, it goes much quicker uh, to excavate six meters uh, under the seabed to be able to cut, cut a jacket leg if you have to do it from the outside, because sometimes we also cut them from the inside. If, if I'm being asked for a highlight of the project, I would really say the fact that this is um, this year you, you've seen the whole of Hirama pulling together to get the work done. So the Tyra project has a part of decommissioning and a part of installations. Um, my name is Bas Behram, I'm the project manager for the removal of the Tyra 2 project. 16,500 tons in total, um, 20 items, uh, which included uh, a lot of bridges, uh, two flares, a jacket and uh, numerous topsides. 
Yeah, then on schedule we have, uh, I think, uh, the Tyra removal was the, the longest uh, removal in the North Sea campaign of this year. It took us about six weeks uh, to get uh, everything out. And once Slightly was uh, finished, um, yeah, we had uh, a couple of weeks more to go in flushing. And uh, eventually uh, everything worked out fine, which is, I think, a great compliment to all people involved. first record was uh, the Jotun B jacket. That was an 8,000 ton jacket. The Jotun B wellhelp platform was installed in 1998 by the T-11. The Jotun B jacket was in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea and was located approximately 180 kilometers west of Haugesund, Norway. Last year we removed the topside and the conductors using again the T-11. And this year we had a successful jacket removal campaign with the Sleipner for our Norwegian client for Energy. After a 15 minutes pull with the two slightly cranes, the jacket and its 800 square meters of mud mat came loose from the seabed. In six steps and after an hour the jacket was fully lifted above sea level, with water and mud streaming out of the top and the bottom. The jacket lift consisted of a total weight of 1800 tons plus 1100 tons HMC rigging, making it for a short period the larger jacket lift removal of 9200 tons. The Jotun B jacket was successfully set down on the IFOD keysight at FATS on the 16th of July this year. I want to thank everybody who contributed to this enormous success both on and offshore. Uh, we broke a record on brand Alpha because it was uh, it's the heaviest jacket to date that's been lifted out of the sea. It's uh, a little over 10,000 tons. I'm Piet Vell, was a project manager for uh, the brand uh, Alpha jacket uh, removal. Uh, here I got the contract to remove it in uh, 2017 and we executed it this year. So that's quite an achievement. We had uh, quite a bit of uh, interesting developments, such what I call challenges. There were elevations uh, in the jacket that uh, needed reinforcements, otherwise uh, it would collapse during lift. We never lifted uh, such a heavy uh, object uh, with, with a dual crane. This was a, a potential record lift of 10,000 uh, tons. And it was the first time that we were going to lift a uh, jacket with uh, conductors in it. Uh, 28 of them uh, suspended, 7.3 meters uh, underwater which was a totally new achievement uh, and uh, quite a challenge because there was no tool available at that stage. Uh, also, uh, another element uh, was that we had to create enough uh, lift height to set down the jacket onto the key site at, uh, at Fats in Norway, but also with, with the key subcontractors. Uh, and all those things came together in a, in a successful project. So it makes me very proud to be part of it. I'd like to thank uh, the team, of course, but also clients and subcontractors for having such a good spirit and, and uh, cooperation. I would love to do a project like this again. Hello, I'm Jan Graafkamp. Project manager on the CAT3 project responsible for the APRD CAT3 project. I'm really impressed by the way our crewing and operations department acted during the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in the March-April period. I think that within HERMA we can be proud that we have such dedicated people working with the right focus and mindset. I'd like to thank everybody involved in this eco Alpha campaign, both onshore and offshore, for a successful completion of another CAT3 campaign. Thank you. This is a record-breaking year for us. We've removed 90,000 tons of steel, of which about 50,000 tons in Canada and 40,000 tons from the North Sea. That's a huge amount because if you look at the North Sea, to date they have, we have removed, or not we, but the, the industry has in total has removed about 750,000 tons. So this year only we've removed about an eighth of that. So it's quite a big, uh, a big year for Herma. And if you look at the amount of preparation they had to do uh, to, 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 to get there and everything went pretty smooth in a COVID year, then I think that uh, that, that in itself is uh, making the puzzle possible. 2020 has been an exciting year for, uh, for Herma. 
I'm proud to be part of Herama Decom projects and I hope you're too. Yeah, to my team. Uh, if I think about it, this year, it was a difficult year. There was a lot of preparation. Uh, there were sometimes scarce uh, resources on the project, and and we've we've got it all done safely. Uh, so I'm 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 very proud uh, of everyone, everyone involved. So not only my team, but also all the others that worked on these projects. So thank you, and uh, yeah, 2020 was a fantastic year. Thank you very much.